Hey guys, it's Eric. I'm here at Hirsch Park today in front of Dizzy Drums. <laughs> I've been waiting for Parker and his friend. We're riding. Uh, Parker and I came over a little bit early to do some rides and then his friend Mason joined us. Uh, so they're riding Fender Bender right now and I'm just kind of checking out what's new in the area. Uh, let's see. Last year we noticed they were painting the top of the Dizzy Drums, uh, racist color. And this year we got a nice big furniture on top. Isn't that cute? Also, we're very curious about this. This used to be the old karaoke machine house. Um, now it's the Reese's Cup house. What is this? What is it? All right, now we need to rewind a little bit. Uh, here's what Parker and I did earlier. Then we'll just move forward from here. That at that exact moment, he has done a great job, and then some form of a reward will be coming very soon. Training is targeting, and to target really just means to touch. We teach our anxiety to our animals' daily lives is by changing up what trainer will be turning nine years old this summer. He is also our largest animal here. Right now, he is weighing well over 250 pounds. You guys the husbandry behaviors that our animals know how to do are laying on a regular basis. And Brinkley is doing amazing showing that off today. Can you guys put your hands together for him? Very well done, Ripley. Let's keep that applause going for Ripley. Guys, there's still an East Coast Mini Donuts truck here. It's back by the boardwalk and it's right next to an empanada truck. So, um, yummy, yummy. Can't wait to be there Memorial Day weekend.
places in Midway America. Um, I just noticed this, and I'm gonna just leave this like here. But uh, this used to be the spot kind of where they had the street sign for Cocoa Avenue, Chocolate Avenue, California. Gone. Uh, but we do have a lift. Check it out, and we're gonna walk around and check it out from the other side. Okay, so I started walking back this little path, and it's actually the path I never knew this little pathway was here because I never see went to See a little bit more catering. of how things are shaping up here. Some decent shots from back here of the construction and how things are shaping up, including the lift, like right there in the center. Pretty big. And I think that's the, is that the underflip? Beginning of the underflip, part of the underflip, I don't know. Anyway, amazing things happening. Oh, and just for reference as to oh, where the Wildcat Catering thing is, here, it's, really high. it's behind the Chickie and Pete's in Midway America. Who knew? And yet another angle. Let that be a lesson to you people. Look for the nooks and crannies, the hidden walkways. I mean, I love that the trees are blooming and budding, but it makes it very hard to see. We got security here. here. At the entrance, they really don't want anybody going in there. A wildcat drink truck that's like right outside the wildcat entrance. Technically, it's called Twisted Beverages. Let's see what they're gonna have. Dark Knights Inferno, Rotten Apple. Oh, this is all Dark Knight stuff. Love it. Fun, fun. Okay, so I've been trying to decide what to eat for a while, and uh, after much deliberation, because the lines are so long for everywhere, after much deliberation, I'm going to try the empanadas. And that is also uh, recommended by my friend, Travel Jen. Jen Green, you can uh, find her. I'm gonna tag her below because she was such a big help in helping me decide for the empanada. Okay, so I got one beef empanada and one chicken empanada. And All right, we're here, let's check it out. And the beef one came with this sauce, so I don't know what it is, but I am excited to try them both. And you know I'm a don't eat on camera kind of person, so I'll just have to tell you how they are. Okay, alright, these are so good. If you're one of those people who like, likes to see the food, this is what's going inside of my empanada. This is the beef one. Tasty, so tasty. And the sauce is really good to go with it. It's like a cool sauce, but um, I like it. As you can see, that was easily polished. Awesome. Alright, chicken and potato. Chicken. It's salsa. chicken. I'm going to try the salsa. <laughs> I'm not usually salsa um, person, it's but packed in there pretty good. Because they're they're pretty tasty. Good. The salsa's not too bad. I do like the sauce for the uh, beef one better, though. But um, it's still good. I'm glad I got it. Alright, guys. Those were amazing. Um, I'm definitely coming back for those again. And they're right next to my favorite mini donuts. So <laughs> dinner and dessert for me. Um, it's called Los Tres Cubanos. And so it was about seven fifty a piece per donut. It was fifty to eighty eight together for both of them. Um, so make sure you come it. back and check um, them out. That's so good. so good. Come back, check them out. Los Tres Cubanos, right here in front of the boardwalk. Well, it looks like Parker's gonna take a shot at the basketball game now, so we're gonna do that. And then we are going to head out. It's been a fun day. It's been a very nice day. The weather's been great today, so it's the kind of day we like here at Virginia Park. Great time in the park, and hopefully all summer.